hello guys <coughs> in this video we are going to be integrating 4x divided by x squared plus 1 all squared so the first thing to 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 realize is whenever i differentiate x squared plus 1 i get kind of x dx that's 2x dx so that is my u substitution so i start by letting my u to be equal to x squared plus 1 now if i differentiate both sides i'm going to get du to be equal to 2x dx right now you realize that um, the numerator of the integral has an x dx if i remove the dx from from um, this position and i replace it i replace it let me see i remove it from that position and i replace in this position now we can remove the 4 out of the integral right so that you you, you realize that there's a relationship between the derivative of u and then the x dx so i could write 2 outside here and also 2 inside here when i multiply i see get 4. now my integral becomes now the 2 outside remains okay now the 2 the x the x in the numerator is du and then the denominator is u raised to the power 2 so this is 2 times the integral of u raised to the power minus 2 du and doing this we just need to um, take u raised to the power minus 2 plus 1 divided by minus 2 plus 1 then we need to add a constant of integration so it therefore means that therefore means that that integral is equal to 2 um, we are going to have u raised to the power minus 1 divided by minus 1 plus a constant of integration so we are going to have negative 2 so this gives us negative 2 u raised to the power minus 1 is the same as 1 over u then plus a constant of integration but what is u our u is equal to x squared plus 1 so we need to change it back to the x word so it therefore means that this integral therefore means this integral that integral is equal to negative 2 divided by my u is x squared plus 1 then plus a constant of integration so i'm going to specify that k belongs to the set of real numbers so this is the answer now for you to be sure that this answer is correct try to differentiate this function if you differentiate this function you must get the integral okay so just try to differentiate you can use the quotient rule to differentiate when you differentiate you're you're going to get the integral so see you guys in the next video